Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video, I will tell you about those 12 bad habits that may damage your kidney. Kidney damage usually happens over the period of time. When we continue some kind of bad habit, what happens? These bad habits which I am going to tell you in this video, creates a condition which further impacts the functioning of the kidney. And as the functioning of the kidney goes down, the level of vitamin and urea goes up. So it's very important for all individual to understand those bad habits that should be avoided to protect our kidney from damage. Do watch this video till the end because in the end of this video, I will be disclosing about the diet that should be followed by a kidney failure patient. So let's start with the bad habit number one and that is not drinking enough amount of water. Suppose you are working hard, you are working continuously on the system, your lips are dry, your throat is dry, you are ignoring that particular uh, thrust. What happens? The amount of the fluid goes down in the body. Your body becomes dehydrated. If we go deeper in the functioning of the kidney, kidney needs fluid to make the, all the toxic material dissolve into it and then it goes out of the body through urine. Suppose your body is dehydrated. Now body has lesser amount of water to make this expulsion of toxic material from the body. What happens? Kidney has to work harder to make that thing happen, to make those toxin material out of the body in a lesser amount of fluid. Because this kidney is working hard and this, if this condition happens over the period of time, for a long period of time, again and again, again and again, what happens? The kidney becomes exhausted and results is high level of kidney level, high level of urea because now the kidney fails to expel out all these material like ketonin, urea from the body and the level of these material raises in the blood which causes kidney failure. So always remember to take right amount of fluid in the body. Now the question arises what is the right amount of fluid for a particular individual because we live in a different climatic conditions. If a person lives in a hot climate, the amount of fluid required by the body is high. If the person lives in a cold climate, the amount of the fluid is low. Now, for that particular reason, we have to look into the sensor which is given by us, by the nature. If your lips are dry, if your throat is dry, that means you are feeling thrust. And if you are thirsty because there is a dehydration in your body. So we have to observe this condition in the body. Whenever your lips are dry, throat is dry, always drink again and again again and again because this right amount of hydration is necessary to keep the kidney functioning healthy now let's move to the bad habit number two and that is lack of sleep suppose you are working late in the night and you are watching some kind of tv and some kind of series on the tv what happens your body becomes exhausted because you're not getting right amount of rest and when our body becomes exhausted to make the brain work functioning properly heart has to pump high amount of blood so that the blood can carry right amount of oxygen and nutrition to the brain because the functioning of the brain is necessary and for that particular reason body has to raise the blood pressure and whenever this kind of thing happens the heart has to raise the blood pressure just to provide the right amount of oxygen and nutrition to the brain this causes impact in the kidney because kidney cells are not designed to take such kind of impact by the blood pressure for a long duration. If you do nocturnal job for a short period, nothing will be happen. Suppose you are doing in the continuous manner, day after day, day after day, your body is exhausted, you are not taking care of the body, you are not taking a right amount of rest. What happens? This kind of bad habits causes high blood pressure and this high blood pressure causes kidney damage. Just to avoid kidney damage, we have to give the proper amount of rest to the body because whenever body is exhausted, the blood pressure will increase. Now let's move to the bad habit number three and that is taking too much amount of painkillers. Now the painkillers come in the category of NSAID, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. All these kind of drugs has to be expelled out by the body through either through liver or through kidneys. So what happens when we take such kind of medicines in the body, it causes damage to the nephrons, which are the functional unit of the kidney. And when this damage happens to the nephrons, the functioning of the kidney goes down and the level of kidney and urea goes up. So always remember, when you suffer from any kind of pain, always work on the root cause of the pain. Don't suppress that pain with the help of any kind of painkiller. Suppose you are suffering from any kind of 
knee pain knee pain shows there is a, some kind of deformity some kind of problem with the bones so work on that particular part take right amount of calcium the right amount of vitamin d that will help you to you know resolve the issue from the root don't suppress with the help of painkillers now let's move to the bad habit number 4 and that is taking excess amount of caffeine now if we want to go deeper why caffeine causes kidney failure we have to understand the functioning of the caffeine whenever we take caffeine we feel you know energy we feel active why this is happening because caffeine increases the blood pressure and this increased blood pressure helps the brain to get right amount of nutrition right amount of oxygen our brain feel active so whenever a person take large amount of caffeine what happens this large amount of caffeine causes high blood pressure and this high blood pressure causes damage to the kidney because kidney has to take the impact of that high blood pressure and when this impact of the high blood pressure is causing damage to the kidney and over the long period of time what happens the functioning of the kidney drops and the level of ketonin and urea again increases in the body so always remember take caffeine but in a occasional manner if you taking caffeine on a suppose on a daily basis once in a day it doesn't harm your kidney but if you are taking caffeine twice thrice in a day like in a form of uh, black coffee what happens it causes it may cause kidney failure so it's very important to limit the amount of caffeine in the body don't take in a large amount because it may damage your kidneys now let's move to the bad habit number 5 and that is excess amount of alcohol intake when a person take large amount of alcohol kidney has to function uh, faster because alcohol has to be excreted through urine and for that particular reason kidney has to function harder and when this happens on a continuous basis what happens kidney has to kidney become exhausted and when the kidney become exhausted the level of the functioning goes down and again the kidney starts getting the damage so always remember if you are taking alcohol do it on a occasional basis don't do it on the regular basis on a daily basis because it may damage your kidneys now let's move to the another bad habit and that is smoking in smoking we smoke tobacco tobacco contains nicotine and nicotine is work similarly to the caffeine when we take large amount of nicotine what happens it give us the boost which we needed when we work and this nicotine which we are taking in a form of uh, cigarettes or chewing tobacco it causes high blood pressure and when this high blood pressure happens it causes the similar damage as it caused by the caffeine so we have to avoid all kind of those substances which increases blood pressure like caffeine nicotine and salt now let's move to the seventh bad habit and that is too much intake of protein protein is very important for our body our whole body is made of protein it's a building block of for our body and very essential for our growth now the question arises how this protein is damaging our kidneys now if we go into the protein classification there is two type of protein one is low density protein which is easy to digest which is very important for our body now there is another type of the protein which is come as high density protein which is hard to digest and which causes kidney damage now the question arises which kind of proteins which kind of uh, you know food comes in the high density protein if we take red meat derived from buffaloes and camels and other large animals it contains high density protein or we can say red meat when we take large amount of red meat what happens these protein molecules are big in nature and when we when this kind of protein goes into our digestion it has to be broken down in a smaller pieces and during this breakdown large amount of waste material is produced in our body which has to be filtered out by our kidneys so suppose if a person is taking large amount of red meat what is happening to process that to excrete out all the waste material from the body kidney has to function faster and harder which causing impact on the health of the kidney so whenever we take protein make sure don't take red meat on a daily basis you can take red meat on a occasional basis but we can take low density protein or white meat on a daily basis so always remember this point now let's move to the eighth bad habit and that is not maintaining your diabetes 
if we go into the classification of the kidney failure we what we see is that 40 percent of the kidney failure patient come with the history of diabetes that means the patient who suffer from diabetes has a high chances to suffer from the kidney failure also now the question arises why this is happening why the kidney failure is high in a patient of diabetes because when the sugar level increase in our body to protect our brain and other vital organs from the damage of the high sugar level kidney has to function faster kidney has to excrete all the amount of glucose extra amount of glucose from the body through urine and for that purpose kidney has to work faster and harder and suppose this is happening on a daily basis or on a continuous basis this high sugar level causes damage to the kidney damage to the functioning of the kidney because kidney has to function in that high sugar level also so always remember keep your sugar levels in check keep in the normal range suppose your sugar level is high that means your kidney may damage because you are suffering from diabetes now let's move to the another bad habit and that is not maintaining your blood pressure you know you are suffering from high blood pressure and you are ignoring because you are not feeling any kind of symptom in your body but you still know that you are suffering from high blood pressure you are not taking any kind of precautions dietary precautions or medicines what happens over the period of time in the time span of 5 years 6 years 7 years what happens this high blood pressure will cause substantial damage to the kidney and as the damage of the kidney happens the level of the kidney and urea increase in the body so it's very important to control diabetes and high blood pressure for all healthy individuals just to protect our kidneys. Now let's move to another bad habit and that is being overweight. When the person accumulates large amount of fat on the body, the body becomes overweight. And when the body becomes overweight, what happens? The body has to pump large amount of oxygen and nutrition to the all the tissue which we have accumulated like fat tissue. For that purpose, body has to increase the blood pressure, which causes damage to the kidney. Another thing is that when we accumulate large amount of fat on our body, another thing is that when we accumulate large amount of fat, what happens? The insulin which is produced by the pancreas falls short. And when the insulin falls short, the level of the glucose, level of sugar increases on in blood, which causes us diabetes. And diabetes causes damage to the kidney, which is very well known fact. When these two disorders come in a patient of overweight, what happens? The kidney damage happens. So always remember, if you are overweight, keep your sugar level and your blood pressure in check because your overweight may create a condition which may cause your kidney damage. Now let's move to the another bad habit and there is taking too much amount of sodium. The main source of the sodium is sodium chloride, which is salt. Now the salt comes from many sources. Sometimes it comes from the sea, which is known as sea salt. Sometimes it comes from the mountains, also known as Himalayan salt, pink salt and mountain salt. Whatever the salt is, it contains sodium chloride in a large amount. So whenever a person takes large amount of sodium in a form of pickles or any kind of savory food items, this uh, salt which we are taking in a large amount causes high blood pressure and this high blood pressure causes the injury to the nephrons which are present in the kidney which causes elevation in the level of creatinine and urea in the body so if a healthy person wants to protect the kidney from the kidney damage one has to work on the blood pressure and sugar simultaneously so that these two disorders doesn't develop in the body because these are the major cause of kidney failure. 80% of the kidney failure cases come from the background with the history of high blood pressure or sugar. So if a person wants to remain healthy, if the person wants to keep the kidney healthy, we have to avoid all kind of the bad habits which I told you earlier these precautions which i told you will help a person to keep the kidney healthy so if you have any kind of question query regarding kidney failure how we can bring down the level of kidney and urea in a kidney failure individual you can simply call on the doctors on the number given below you can also send your report via whatsapp and email on the details which are coming on your screen and our doctors will evaluate that particular report and they will call you back accordingly with this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, Namaskar.